My name is Kevin Viveris. I'm the bridge manager uh, at Power Corporation. I've been with the firm for 28 years. The central bridge currently built in 1939 was found to be in a deteriorated state. Um, the Ron Department of Transportation retained Power Corporation to do an evaluation of alternatives for either repair and or replacement of the structure. From that evaluation, a replacement alternative was deemed the most appropriate. Park Corporation, working with the Town of Barrington, the Ron Department of Transportation, and Cardi Corporation are currently in the process of finishing up the phase one portion of that project, uh, anticipated to complete the summer of 2015, and the overall completion of the Central Bridge project is anticipated to be done in 2017. It's the first bridge project in Rhode Island to use the Northeast Extreme T beam or next beam. It's a beam type that allows the contractor to eliminate the formwork while casting the concrete deck. The project had a number of hoops that we had to jump through. Most importantly was the DEM, or environmental sensitivity of the project. The bridge uh, spans the Barrington River, which is a migration route for the uh, northern diamondback terrapin turtle, which is an endangered species in Rhode Island. The project's also located in a historic district, and there were several properties that abut the project that are historical significance. And then the third, the bridge is located on a bus and safety vehicle route whereby those types of vehicles had to be uh, maintained during the uh, length of the construction. There are two major milestones remaining for the Central Bridge Project. One is the completion of the permanent bridge structure and the second is the construction of a bioretention pond that will treat stormwater runoff before it enters the 100 acre cove. Both those phases are anticipated to be complete in the summer of 2017. So stay tuned for future updates.